Hello, my name is Lauren Leong. Thank you for taking the time to watch this preliminary to the interview. I look forward to expanding this into a two-person or multiple people format where we all get to have a conversation instead of my makeshift tripod in my living room. Um, but into the gut of what we're supposed to be saying, my fun fact that I wanted to share is that I won Homecoming King. Um, it was a joke by my friends that just kind of escalated into this thing that got me through three rounds of elections um, until I got um, crowned on my homecoming night and now I have my little crown that's like five bucks I'm guessing from Party City in my room but I think it's going to be a really funny story to tell my kids one day if you know if we even have homecoming kings and they even understand what that is um, but that being said I want to move on to what I want to change in this world and why um, and I think that for my answer is gonna have to be defined first with what a system could be because I want to change systems in the way that they are forever set in our minds and I want to change the way that we view systems and how we can improve on systems because systems as they stand are supposed to be a culmination of parts and processes dedicated to the approval of common good but I think that they need to maximize the common good because I find that systems begin to fail when they're limited in, in the sense of the mentality of this is working for some people and it's working for enough people in power that we can allow it to exist. And I think that that's when it's become detrimental. I think that we need to allow systems to never allow themselves to settle for how they stand and instead wonder what as a system, what as this front, what as my part as a human being in this system can I do to maximize the good? What can I do to maximize this so that it benefits the most people in the best way possible? How does that happen? What can this do? Because when we don't ask these questions, we see something quite terrifying happen, which is the oppression of massive groups of people and these people that fall through the cracks. And we need to, in a system, we'll always have some failures because nothing in this world is ever perfect. But when we're not striving for that perfection, when we're striving for a crackless surface, it's one that doesn't let anybody through these cracks of horrid injustice that we see on the foster care system and mass incarceration, all these systems set in place, we have to combat this by allowing these to never uh, allowing these systems and allowing ourselves as individuals in these systems to never allow that to be good enough and i think that the lincoln scholars program has the right morals and the right and the same mindset as that in its core and that's why i get really excited about the opportunity to do this and to share this with you all i think that it's going to be a great place to fail and grow and wonder what can I do to improve? What what does this need to do better? What do I need to do better? What went wrong with this project? How do I improve on this for the next project? And also the ability to do projects. I think that's fundamental to anything it's doing. And I really hope that the Lincoln Scholars Program can help me with this conflicted mindset that I always have of what can I do better and help me know what I can do better. And I hope that that is what you all want to do too. Thank you.